Hey guys, Mr. Black Fox here, and today we're doing a review on this cold, damp, and wet field. But we're not talking about weather today. We're talking about what's in this wrapping paper in this box. Okay, we're gonna get into it. We have wrapping paper, obviously. And by the way, the airsoft gun does not come with wrapping paper. It was just an add-on that we had for Christmas. And typical boxing paper, uh, tape. Get the damn box open. Sorry, this is just a box. It's what you gotta go through every time. It's packed full of tape. By tape, I mean a lot of tape. Here we are. The box unreveals another box with less tape this time. Except for it's just tape. That's about it. I don't care what you guys say, tape is tape. It's always sticky. Well, we're opening it from this way. The AGM series, automatic electric series, electric powered for for over 18 years and up, and I'm pretty sure you think, I think you know that by now. And we got styrofoam. Oh, and the beauty itself. We got a magazine, which feels like aluminum metal. We got BBs I'm probably not going to use. We got the manual thing, which shows you how to do it, but I'm, that's why I'm here. We got a speed loader stuck in here. Got battery charger. Scissors not included. And the British World War One airsoft stem. And it's stuck in the box. Picking this thing up and wow, it is really heavy.
and this pull knob right here adjust to how you want the magazine position. And it comes with unjamming rod. If you use 12, 12 gram or grain BBs, you're going to need that jamming rod or the unjamming rod because, well, they're just not made for your gun, the 12s. Anyway, we got a big Allen wrench coupled by a small Allen wrench in this small packaging. Got the magazine. Taking a look at the magazine and huh. These are 25s of what I'm using. I think this is how you load it anyway. Or it could just be faster if I just use a speed loader. I'm using the biodegradable series because I'm using biodegradables. That's why. And you fill it up until it's full. No, I, I think it's about a 60 round mag, 50 round mag, somewhere in there, mid cap. Which, yeah, 50, 60 round mag. battery well I uh, sort of maybe just done a review that does not have a battery come the box so never fret I'll just see what this gun takes and I'll throw a battery in it if it's the right size because I have a couple batteries and it's gonna take just a second Oh, the battery's already in it. That's strange. Guess I never thought to pull the trigger. And in case you're wondering, there's no safety on this gun. Just, there's no safety on it. I'm trying to get the stock back on. Does it shoot is the question. So it does shoot, but it sounds like it has a very low battery. I think if you pick this up and unbox it straight at an airsoft game, you might get a mag or two out of it before you actually need to do stuff. Your charge batteries. I mean, we're going to 
put the magazine in. Fire. And I threw it in the wrong way. Here we go. Right, let's stand at a longer distance. It does have a hop up, I think, somewhere in it. I think you have to adjust it with another Allen wrench. But, yeah, I'm looking at this. It's a solid, durable, very cold on my fingers, AEG. And the sight is not the best sight in the world but it's better than no sight. And so there you have it for the unboxing, a EGM Sten review.